We spend an average of three hours and 15 minutes on our phones, daily, from scrolling social media, paying bills, to taking pictures. What would happen if we could have that time back? As we prepared for our much anticipated vacation, my family and I were caught up in the excitement, but amidst the chaos, I overlooked something crucial, my phone. When we pulled up to the airport, my husband asked me the usual, do you have your ID? Check. Credit card? Check. Boarding pass? That saw my... Wait. Wait, where's my phone? I was stunned. How could I have forgotten something so essential? I literally have it in my hand most of the day. Panic set in, and I began to worry about the consequences of not having my phone. It contained everything, reservations, important contacts, and vital documents. How can I take pictures and capture memories of my vacation? And of course, my boarding pass. My mind raced, trying to come up with solutions. Do we have enough time to drive 20 minutes each way back home to get the phone and then back to the airport? Should I just buy a new one and get a SIM card? While my husband is parking the car, how will I get in touch with him if he doesn't make it through TSA on time? Don't worry, babe. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise, my husband said, reassuring. His words seemed hopeful, yet I couldn't fully comprehend how not having my phone could be anything but a disaster. An entire week without my phone. After getting my paper boarding pass at the ticket counter, the girls and I waited at the gate. Me, impatiently. 40 minutes left to boarding. 30 minutes left to boarding. 15 minutes left to board. No husband. And with seven minutes until boarding, he peeped around the corner. We settled into our seats on the airplane and uncertainty filled my thoughts. I won't have any way of taking pictures and capturing the memories. You know, as someone born in the 80s, a Polaroid would be nice right about now. What if an emergency happens during our vacation and, and I'm separated from my husband? What if a therapy client calls and has an emergency? Babe, just imagine how liberating this could be. No emails for you, social media, or constant notifications. You can truly disconnect and focus on spending quality time with me and the girls and being present. His words struck a chord within me, and a glimmer of hope began to replace my initial worries. After two days with no phone in Austin, Texas, I realized I was present. My kids weren't asking me to put my phone down, and slowly, I started to realize the profound impact of not having my phone. I never got annoyed with my kids in seven days. <laughs> On top of that, I realized I was never overstimulated on vacation, which happens frequently at home. The absence of my phone allowed me to be fully present, savoring each moment without distraction. During our last night with family, I listened intently, every word, every smile, every glance becoming a treasured memory etched in my heart. As our vacation came to an end, I couldn't help but reflect on the lessons learned. And to my surprise, my phone was waiting for me right at home. Seeing it there, I realized that forgetting my phone had been a blessing in disguise. It had allowed me to disconnect from the digital world and reconnect with what truly mattered, the people in my family. In that moment, surrounded by laughter and love, I understood the best memories are not captured through a lens, but experienced with an open heart. So remember, sometimes the greatest adventures come when we let go of what we think we need and embrace the moments that truly matter. Because in the end, it's not the devices that define our experiences, it's the people we share them with.